this is the Yang Yang Gurt farm that I've been on here for uh, all of my life and my daughter's a, well, the fifth generation and we started getting serious about planting trees about 10 or 12 years ago and since then we've uh, planted out about 15% of the landscape. I'm standing in our chicory crop and it's actually chicory and plantain and clover and a bit of ryegrass which we use for finishing our lambs and that's where the trees come in too because they complement this program <coughs> and also protecting this crop from the hot northerly winds so it doesn't dry out during the summer. I think of um, using commercial trees and habitat trees as part of the risk management strategy for our property. As you can see behind me we have trees integrated into the landscape for the multiple values but if at the end of the day for whatever reason that the trees aren't harvested well they're still performing jobs for the farm. This is the Gumsbank paddock and this before photo was taken in 1993 and uh, it's one large paddock but it had two distinct land classes and we've used the trees to divide this paddock into its two. With these trees we're also in a joint venture with uh, Midway Timber Products where we are in a profit share program and at the end of the rotation at maybe age 14 these trees will be harvested and that we will gain a share of the profit for the, for the timber as wood chips. Long term rotations of up to 30 years don't really present a problem to me because, well really I think there's an opportunity there because uh, whilst the trees are there improving the farm productivity and environmental integrity of the property, they're growing into timber and we're currently making, making our living from prime lambs and beef and the trees are assisting in that process so we have assured income but the next generation they'll gain the benefit of harvesting those trees and then perpetuating the system by replanting. 